Hello, uh, welcome to part two of my airport build. Uh, today I'm going to show you the planning I've been doing as I had some decisions to make. This all revolves around that I have two airport terminals and I have to get them to fit into this space. So I went and set up my desk. I found an image on Google of Gemini Jets airport mats 5 and 6. I then went into Photoshop and played around with them a bit. I was trying different things, flipping them around, cutting pieces off, etc. This is what I came up with. So the first idea I came up with was two number 6 mats on an overlay. I did see something like this online. However, if I had my choice, I would find a way to have the number 6 mat mirrored at a print shop. I did decide against it as it would cause some issues with the copyright. The downside of this setup is that the taxiways and one roadway do not meet up on either side. I did consider cutting off the roadway and pasting it on the other side, but looking at it doesn't work either. The second idea was to have two number 6 mats facing different directions. Here I was able to line up the taxiways on both ends. The only two drawbacks with this idea was once again the roadway that ran on the ends of the mats, and then the runway numbers, runway 27 would be pointing in both directions. The third idea would take a bit of work. It's two of the number 6 mats and one of the number 5 mats. I would cut off the parking lot and runway of one of the number 6 mats and place it perpendicular on the top. I like that the taxiways lined up there. The second part was taking a number 5 mat and covering the gap. I like this idea since it created more parking spaces and a place for the white body maintenance hangar. I didn't like this idea in particular since one ramp road on the top led to the runway and at the bottom one of the taxiways ended it into nowhere. I also don't like the idea of cutting up an expensive airport mat. The fourth idea was simply lining up the roadway between two of the number 6 mats. I decided against it since the one taxiway on top ended up crossing the runway. The fifth idea involved two of the number 6 mats being joined perpendicular at the taxiway and using a number 5 mat to fill some of the gaps. I didn't like the gaps left in this design however, also thinking of how much floor space this would take since it would be big. This got me thinking of my next idea. Just simply building two airports side by side and not having to connect them. I then took the mat I already have and placed it on the floor to see how big it really was. I also played with where the white body hanger would eventually go. I taped out different ideas on how this could work based on the space I had in my room. Trying not to block my desk or the storage room behind. To help even more with the planning, I found the box my TV came in. I cut two pieces measuring 55 and a half inches by 40 inches to represent the two airports. This size is an inch more than the mat in case I want to make a plexiglass cover someday. I then took both pieces of cardboard and placed them in the space I reserved for the airport. I did allow an inch of overlap since I felt I built this airport on two tables instead of one leaving both mats at the edge of each table where they would join. I found the first test to be blocking my chair at my desk and a small shelf beside my desk. So I went and turned the airport 90 degrees to see how it would fit. This showed I wouldn't be able to get into my desk. One last try was to see if I built them separately, and that idea worked. I also figured if I built these table on wheels, I can simply move them around when I wanted to display them properly since I was using my desk, or keep the path clear to my storage room. Seeing I only have one airport mat at this time, I'll leave things the way they are and build my first airport, and address the issues later when they arise as the second airport is built. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Until next time, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and happy collecting!